What's going on guys, this is MCS Red. Today I got a video for you on things to know about your 468 PTR and also your 468. I'm gonna go through some things about troubleshooting and how to diagnose certain issues that may or may not come up um, within your marker, but they're super simple to rectify and solve. So, in front of me here, I have a custom PTR. Uh, so you can see here, and there's no difference, it doesn't matter the cosmetic accessories, it's still the same marker internally. So what we're gonna do is when you get your marker, your, your PTR or your 468, you're gonna get a spare parts kit. And in that spare parts kit, you're gonna have these springs, okay? Depending on what spring is in your marker when it leaves the factory, they may differ uh, just so we can achieve certain velocities within that. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna make sure that if you have a tank option or you have a remote line option, you make sure that the tank has air in it. Okay? We're gonna need that for the test today. What we want to do is when you get it and you fire it, when you take it to the field or you test, um, you test fire it, what you're going to want to keep in mind is cycling. You have the Gen 2 Javelin in the new 468 PTRs and 468s that comes standard with all of them. Um, so there are some, some things that you want to make sure you can do before you take it out to the field. Um, you have the lock bolt, all right? If you don't know what the lock bolt is, basically if I press the trigger, that's gonna make that sound, that clicking noise. And what that means is that the bolt is actually getting locked out by that silver tab. When the, a magazine is in the, the breech here and it's full of projectiles, it's going to actually push up on this uh, tab here. Let's see if I can get it without. I'll cock it back, it's resting against that. Here we go. All right, so as you can see, I can push this up I'll do it this way so you can see it here okay you see the square window here on the right hand side uh, this little one right here point to it there we go so you'll see that tab I'll push it up closer see it goes up in there so when the brown goes in it's actually going to hit that and push it up and now the round the bolt will be able to move forward into the breach to fire it's a perfectly normal thing. That's our mechanical eye. It's a safety mechanism that we've designed that comes standard on all of the 468 PTRs and 468. This allows the marker to not to be able to be dry fired or accidentally discharged without a round properly engaging and seeing it. It's also a, uh, a, a detector that you're out of ammunition uh, when you're out on the field, just in case you're not, <clears throat> excuse me, counting your shots. So when you get your marker, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure Crack it open, and what you'll have here is you'll have an upper lower receiver seal, which comes with it. It's this little O-ring here. What you can do, because this is not held in there except for its little groove, but a lot of times people will remove this and they'll or they'll crack it open and they'll fall out and they'll lose it. We do give you extras in the spare parts kit, um, but what you can do is you can take a small drop of super glue and put it on the right one of the corners of that. Just make sure it doesn't get into the internal system and that will keep it in place for you not to worry about it. In this hole that you see right here is your valve, okay? So if you have a leak or anything like that, it's going to come from that area. Um, that shouldn't happen uh, with anything, uh, especially directly from the factory. Um, over time, I would say uh, there's no definitive. Sometimes it never happens, sometimes it, it will happen. There are two O-rings there that seal that chamber, so you'll be good to go. Um, you have your javelin bolt here, and what you want to do, okay, when you get your javelin bolt, we oil this before it leaves the factory to make sure, and it's tested, uh, and that cycles, and the velocity is where it needs to be. What you first want to do is you want to make sure that this pin is nice and tight. So I've loosened this to show you what I mean when it's not tight. So I can actually go back and forth. There are two set screws here, right here and right here, and that lock that into place. So all you need to do, get my Allen key here, and you just tighten it down. And what you wanna do is you wanna take the skinny end and press it with your thumb to make, that's actually pushing it all the way in. You see if I have another Allen key here, it's a little bit smaller. So I have to use one of these then. Okay. So you'll go ahead and you'll tighten it down 
all the way so it's nice and tight. Just torque it down into there. These set screw in to the bolt pin so you don't need to worry about anything else. And then boom, it's nice and tight. So we'll go ahead and we'll put it back in. Now you wanna make sure that these O-rings look good and everything like that. And here's a visual indication that your bolt, your javelin bolt is very, it's good for the chamber. When I can drop it down just like that with zero resistance, that's what you want to see. You don't need to push it all the way through the chamber, but this is the type of uh, action that it should have. It should go up and down with zero issues. If it doesn't do that, you want to lubricate those three O-rings with some gold standard marker, uh, marker oil, anything with a liquidy consistency. From this point, you want to make sure that your striker is in the rear position. That's why we always cock back the marker before we air it up. And then once it's in the rear position, what we can do is when the tank is on it, we can actually fire it. And you see that? It actually cycled back and it's cycling perfectly fine. That's a great way to test your marker to make sure that the air is perfectly cycling. There's no um, leaking of air or anything like that. And then that will allow to let you, let you know that this thing is ready to go. We wanna make sure that our javelin bolt is right there. You, just, you don't need to do anything from this point. You just set it in and then close it nice and easily. Make sure your receiver seal is still in. And then you just close it up. And what I like to do is I'll make a C with my hand. Thumb underneath the pistol grip or underneath the, uh, the uh, guide rod adapter here. And then my other hand on top and I'll close down while I'm cocking back and that will set it into place. And the indication to let you know that the marker is in the perfect place is I can cycle it. And it will work just fine. If your marker still doesn't cycle correctly because of the javelin bolt, we know that because it cycled with just the lower, that there is an issue with something up here in the upper receiver. More commonly than not, it's because the O-rings on the javelin are either uh, swollen and they actually are causing the resistance within the upper receiver which all you need to do is replace them um, that will solve your problem right away or you do not have enough blowback pressure within your spring so these colored springs are really what you're gonna want to use you have your uh, green is your low blue is your medium and red is your high and you can actually the the best part about these markers with the reason why we give you so many springs is you're able to tune your marker depending on the projectiles that you're using that's pretty much it uh, that I wanted you guys to know about this marker. You always want to make sure too that your locking pin is in. Uh, this protects the velocity guide housing uh, from being hit by the striker and it just it just allows, it's a support uh, crutch of sort to make sure that this is going to hold up to all of the, the violent action that happens here in the lower receiver. Other than that, that's the only thing that you really may run into as far as issues with the 468 PTR and uh, the 468. So if you have any questions or concerns or anything outside of this, uh, these issues, make sure you give us a call or jump on the chat. Uh, we're always available at mcsus.com. You guys know where to find us. We'll see you guys out on the field.